Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content created by using the links on screen and in the description below. Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next, and I am super happy to re-continue, I guess, you can say it like that, whatever, re-continue our Duo Dreamer Battle Mode series. Uh, as you know, we had taken a break because we had to change up the schedule for the new year and slow down a bit we might even have to slow down a little more as uh you know just life takes a hit you know more hours you work less hours i got for reactions and stuff so that's gonna be a thing there's my hot sauce over here but uh as always uh we love watching these uh do a dreamer takes a ton of effort to get these put together uh interfacing with all these animators sometimes animating himself and he does a great job remember to use those links in the description on the bumpers go check them out give them some love you know, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit different. Uh, we've changed to a new style of reaction patterns where we try to do roughly 20 to 30-ish, 40-ish minute episodes for all of our stuff. That way, every day there releases like a... Unless it's something like Red versus, uh, or sorry, Ruby, where it's like a weekly release uh, or One Piece where it's a weekly, re weekly release so we can't really like put a ton of content together. Uh, we're going to be doing 30-minute episode runs, so we'll be doing several episodes. We're starting with... Battle Mode Episode 112, Wolverine's Open Challenge. We'll see how far we get. Um, and as always, we will include those links in the descriptions for the video. You know, check it out. Give him some love. We're going to get it started, and then he'll give us a little short message. And, hey, yeah. guys. This is Dua Dreamer. Just want to give a quick shout-out to Artistic Gamer Sean, Steve Spadiner, The Palette Drop, and Curly B for being one of our patrons on our Patreon account for Battle Mode, Story Mode, and Training Mode. And if you want to get shout-outs like these, get early access, or get an animated request done for you, there's a link down below, also a link right here that will show you how you can get these perks. Every little bit helps for the future of Battle Mode, Story Mode, and Training Mode. And before we get to the Season 5 finale, I just want to thank everyone for sticking with us and supporting us throughout this season and throughout these five seasons, actually. So thank Oops, you so much, yes. and I hope you guys enjoy this Season Finale of Battle Mode, and... Let's get ready for season six, which is coming soon. All right, guys. Yeah. So here we are. The season five finale. Oh, well, I didn't need the season, season six to start. Enjoy. So that's good to know. I might have to update the intro if you updated the intro, so. That's all right. It's not as hard as it used to be. It used to be a lot harder for me to update the intros. Does have a cool intro. I'll always say that. This is a nice new one too. He's got some interesting like ulating shapes back there. I like it. It's always interesting to me because Wolverine sits in this very like interesting spot. Like, especially writer-wise, like sometimes he'll get jobbed a lot, and sometimes he'll be written very high level damage, like he can take on a lot of stuff. So, I'm not sure. Ooh, Gabriel Muzo. He does some great stuff. I'm also subscribed to him. I did. I thought I... Hmm. Oh. I'll have to check out more stuff when I get a chance. The, the, oh, the Predator. And so, there are ways you can take out Wolverine, right? Like, he's not invincible by any means. There's a couple comics where he talks about it. Ooh, wow. Oh, God. I can't remember. I know this guy, but I don't remember the... Or not guy, but... Oh, actually, yeah, guy. But I don't remember from where. I just recognize the long three paw and the fact that they only have one. Oh, the predator is like. Nice. Yeah. Theoretically, unless the predator's metal suit. Yeah, this would be a little bit tougher for him, but. Yeah, I still would probably give Wolverine the edge in this unless you gave uh, Slade his, like, stupid OP armor. In which case, then I'll just use Phoenix Force Wolverine. Yeah, Shredder doesn't really... But the problem is, any character could, right, theoretically with the writing, but written at peak efficiencies, I think Wolverine's easily on par with these guys. Damn, this is great animation, though. Look at that. Super awesome. Yeah, he's he's one of the best fighters in the Marvel Universe. Not top five, probably, since they keep up and down in him with other fighters. Ooh. Nice animation, man. That's cool. That's probably took a ton of work. Oh, Super Shredder. 
See, now that's a different story, maybe. But once again, the problem is with, ooh, yeah. With Wolverine is he has a weapon that very few people can resist the damage of. So if they don't have healing roughly similar to his own, or damage that just straight out outdoes him, he's going to have a way to do it because he's, once again, one of the most skilled fighters around. Kratos is probably a good fighter as he is, though. I'd give that for sure. And Kratos probably has the means to take him out. It's all depending, once again, on uh, how you want to push him through. I definitely think Kratos has the ability to kill Wolverine, though. Should he know how to? But it's also rough. I know, though, technically, it depends on if you're going Marvel, Canon, uh, Olympian stuff. Because the Olympian weapons in Marvel are made of Animantite, which is as hard or harder than Animantium. Oof. Yeah, I don't know if Kratos has a healing ability. If he did then I'd, I don't know. It's still up and down for there. I could definitely see Kratos taking that. I, I like that, though. It was really well made. The animation was amazing. Um, I thought that the depictions of how the fights and battles went were pretty well. I, thought, I think Sl Slade would have probably given him a little more trouble, and also, obviously, depending on equipment, but that was really good. So, wait, I didn't... I must have missed some numbers. There's a lot of random pictures here of people I didn't see. But, uh, that's really cool. I guess this is the Season 5, uh, season finale. And, uh, as always, guys, you know, special shout-out to Duo Dreamer. He does great stuff. Remember to check out his channel. He's gonna give a shout-out to his patrons here in a moment. What are your thoughts on this anime battle? Yeah, check him out. Do you agree or disagree with the result if this was a research battle? Feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Check out more of the animator's work. And always dream big. It does pick some good music for the intros and outros, so. though. All right, we're going to go to the next one, which is episode hey, everyone, 113. Is I just want to give a quick shout out to Artistic Gamer Sean, C Spinner, Pallet Drop, and Curly B for being one of our patrons on our Patreon account for battle mode, story mode, training mode, and cross battle wrestling. And if you want to get shout outs like these, get early access or even get a request animated for you, there's a link down below. Also, a link right here that will help you let you know how you can get these perks. Every little it's bit helps yet. for the future of battle mode, story mode, training mode, okay. and cross battle wrestling. Now on to the season six premiere of battle mode. Rainbow Mika versus King, and this was requested by Artistic Gamer Sean. Thank okay, you I very was... much for your I don't continued support. Remember yeah. Rainbow Mika. You rock, man. Enjoy, guys. I cannot remember. Oh, cool! It does have a new intro. That means there's more Previously work for me. On cross battle wrestling. Oh wait, this is cross battle wrestling. Maybe that's why so it's a different intro. I was gonna intro. say, guys, this one, this match has a big stipulation here. The winner of this match will be featured in the season premiere of Battle Mode Season Six. That should be it. He's picking him up. Finally, go for a finish. Oh, another call. flying cross arm break again. Oh my God, he tapped out. He tapped out. Oh my goodness! He was going for the submission hold. Okay, no, that was a, a slap back to cross battle. That's cool. Season six, it will be a match between Wolf Hawkfield versus Rainbow Mika. To break it, a tree of woe, and here we go. Oh, oh, damn! Oh, right in the midsection of Wolf. Will that be it for him? And she's going for another running. This is interesting. I wonder if these are custom created characters or in a certain. I often look more into cross battle wrestling. Somehow, some way, now she'll be going to battle mode to face King in the season premiere of battle mode. I cannot wait to see. The real question is I guess since we only had one episode in season five, we might as well use the season six intro for the new stuff. Interesting. I like the new battle mode uh, logo for sure. That's really cool with the brick graffiti.
I love how the voice effect just gets more and more ridiculous every season on the intro. <laughs> it's awesome. It sounds like a chorusser with maybe a flanger. Jesus, the bounce. Oh, all right then. I have no idea who'd win this. I like King, so I want him to win. But oh god, was that Mario as a ref? Animator Tasso beats. Oh god, the butt push. Or the butt, whatever the move is. I don't remember. Oh, interesting. You know, I'm not sure why I'm surprised, because Street Fighter was definitely that way. You know what I mean? Oh, jeez. I like how this one's also like definitely a wrestling match and not just a uh, fight fight. You know what I mean? Like they're in the ring, they got the refs. Ooh. Interesting. I like the inclusion of the match stuff in the ring, right? Like the location does a lot for this fight. Oof. Nice, pretty decent sound effects too, I'm not gonna lie. Ready? <laughs> I don't know once again why I'm surprised. This is exactly what I should expect from Street Fighter characters. I don't know why I'm surprised at all. I just don't remember this from Chick. And fan service. <laughs> cool. That's funny. I, d I have no clue. I really can't say who would have won in the fight. I'm going to go with their, you know, estimations. They do pretty decent most of the time when they pick them. Uh, I definitely think it was hilarious. So once again, I don't know why I'm so surprised about Rainbow Mika. I'm just like, really? This, this kind of like sexualized dish fighting style? All right, whatever. It's, it shouldn't bother me so much, but I think it just throws me off. It throws, what throws me off is the fact that it was like 8, 16 bit. Uh, as always, support, do a dreamer, you know, where we're gonna be rolling right into the next video after this, but he'll give you a little. What are your thoughts on this animated battle and do you agree or disagree oh, this is with the result battle. this was a research battle? Feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Ouch. Check out more of the animator's work Ouch. and always dream big. You heard it, man. All right, um, battle start from Baki. Ah. All right, we're gonna go to Marco hey, Rosie versus Duke Nukem. I just wanna give a quick shout out to Artista Gamer Sean, C Spadinner, Paladrop, Curly B, and our newest member in the Patreon family, Matthew, for being one of our patrons on our Patreon account for battle mode, story mode, and training mode, and cross battle wrestling. And if you wanna get shout outs like these, get early access, or even get an animated request done for you, there's a link down below, also a link right here that will tell you how to get these things. Every little bit helps for the future of battle mode, story mode, training mode, and cross battle wrestling. Now on to the next episode of battle mode. Marco Rossi versus Duke Nukem. Enjoy. Not bad. They're doing some interesting stuff. Well, this is a classic piece. Oh. Huh. I will say that's one thing that's up and down. All right, so I don't know Metal Slug. I know I'm going to get a lot of shit. Because I'm always like half and half. Like, I know like half of the people sometimes. And it's like, Metal Slug, I don't know. I do know Duke Nukem, who is a parody at best. I don't know. He's funny. But. Come on! 
Nanosoft is the animators. Remember to support them. I might cry a little bit. Shit. Mission complete. I mean, he's got a tank, man. How are you gonna fight that? <laughs> That's a pretty Your quick one. Fight is... Yeah, he looked like he won it, man. Once again, Dude Nukem's a funny guy, and I loved playing the games when they were around, but and I mean, they're still coming out up to like 2000 something, but. He's definitely not, like, a that badass of a badass, in my opinion. I mean, he does have some funny feats, but he's definitely a gag character, you know? Uh, what are your thoughts on this animated battle, and do you agree or disagree with the result that this was a It's cool to battle? see him getting more so people on his Patreon. I'm happy for below. that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Check out more of the animator's work. And always dream big. Dude, and guys, always dream big. Check out the animator's work and support Do a Dreamer. We're going to get into the next episode ourselves. Which is John Rambo. Hello everyone, this is Dude Dreamer. Just want to give a quick shout out to Artistic Gamer Sean, C Spinner, Talus Drop, Curly B, and Matthew for being one of our Patreons on our Patreon account for Battle Mode, Story Mode, Training Mode, and Cross Battle Wrestling. And if you want to get shout outs like these, get early access, or even get an animated request done for you, there's a link down below and a link right here so it'll tell you how you can get these things. There you go. See, there's the link up here, the Super Future. It was on the other video, it was just on the other side. John Rambo versus the Predator. Enjoy and stay safe. I mean, Rambo should be able to take the Predator if, if Schwarzenegger could in the one. They were basically similar characters. Honestly, feel like that role might have even been written for Stall Stallone event originally, but not really, you know what I mean? But could have been. Mm. Mm. You know, I didn't like this song as much at the start, but it's growing on me, honestly. It's growing on me. Definitely growing on me. Oof, I'm gonna have to go back and find so much stuff. I gotta do the GTFO intro stuff too, so. Oh. John Rambo. I guess it also depends on which Rambo and which Predator, because I don't know if old Rambo could take the Predator. <laughs> Maybe because he's, he's battle smart. He's hardened. Oh dear lord, that's like the alien machine. Damn, alright. Also, I've never seen that figure of Rambo. Or model. Oh, okay, so he's gonna go beat up a robot. Holy shit, he picked that one. With the weird ass spear there's a lot of different predators oh hey look it's a fat cat bureaucrat probably i don't know what it is oh that is the real problem is the technology difference but i mean aside from that you know as long as that's not a thing and can't just blow them out Yeah. All right. I was gonna say, I, I could kind of forgive the tanking of the blade, but if that thing hits him, he's definitely be a dead man. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll do it. All right. Cool. Oh, it's also Gabriel Musa, which is why the animation looks great. Also, interesting use of the moving cart as a battle arena. That's dope. Goodbye. Oh no, he's still here. Oh shit, tree. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Ugh.
All right, Rambo's gonna need something because he's been I was gonna say he's been losing this fight. Uh, it's gonna throw him back. Yeah, he's gonna throw him back. I was like, he's gotta have something. Otherwise, I mean, that would have killed them both. But regardless, that he needed something to pull ahead because the technology difference was huge. I'm alright with that. That was pretty well written in the kind of like villainy, like confidence over confidence thing. Interesting music for this outro. It's different. You see all the shoutouts below. Paso beats. Uh huh. I like this one. They have a lot of media to work with, like the movies, the games, comics, all kinds of stuff. X. What are your thoughts on this animated battle, and do you agree or disagree with the result that this was a research battle? Feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Check out more of the animators' work and. Always dream big. Always dream big, guys. You heard the advice. Take it to heart. Uh, we're going to go into the next one. I think we've got time for one or two more of these no, in these gamers. episodes. Quick shout out to our Artistic Gamer Sean, Peace for Dinner, Palette Drop, Curly B, and Matthew for being one of our patrons on our Patreon account for Battle Mode, Story Mode, and Training Mode. And if you want to get shout outs like these, get early access, or even get our anime requests done for you, there's a link down below. Also, a link right here that will tell you how you can get these perks. Every little bit helps for the future of Battle Mode, Story Mode, Training Mode, and Cross Battle Wrestling. Now, on to the next episode of Battle Mode Baraka versus Vega. Enjoy. Baraka. My hair's finally long enough to rock. <laughs> yeah! It's all in the back, though, so... Yeah, no much rock. And... Okay, who was it? Baraka. And... Oh! Vega. That's an interesting version of Vega with that mask. Didn't he usually have a different mask? What seduces me more? The Crimson of Or am I thinking of a different character? Or the scream of oh, it's Yang! Yang the Insane. I recognize that name. I'm thinking of a different guy. It was Vega the other time, so he is the one with the one claw. Okay, cool. I was tripping at the beginning of this video. Interesting. This victory will be mine. Oh, what the? F oh, we got the flag. Oh. I feel like that's from the new one. Interesting, he added that. He's gonna take them all. Let my beauty intoxicate you. Yeah, look at that. Not bad. Ah, nice. Not bad. I appreciate the added uh, effects, you know, the chopping in half and stuff. Let my beauty intoxicate you. I'll give you a beautiful death. I'll give you a beautiful death. Okay. Oh no. Oh! I think Barack is done for. Ooh, interesting. Nice. Oh, is it not done? Yeah. Yep, sneak attack. Alright. Ooh, nice sound effect. Interesting animation there for the pull down and the the stabbing through. All right, cool. I appreciate that. Yeah, it looked like you won that one for sure. Ooh, Vegeta versus Shadow is our next one. Hopefully, we have the time to do it. Oh, we should, even if we go over a little bit over. Uh, as always, he'll give a little shout out here at the end. That was an interesting fight. I like the story behind it you know what i mean the fact that it's like all right vegas probably the better fighter but because barack is using dirty tricks so he wins i i kind of appreciate when a little more story is added to a fight 
Not to say that I don't appreciate just the amazing fights that some people make with no story. Obviously, those are great too. But the little story just makes it a little more connectable, you know what I mean? Makes it feel good. Um, yeah. That's just my feeling on it, though. I mean, everybody else has different ideas. What are your thoughts on this anime battle, and do you agree or disagree with the result if this was a research battle? Feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, check out more of the animator's work, and always dream big. Well, you heard him. And uh, take that advice to heart. Always dream big. We're going to keep going on the thing. Yeah, Yang's done a couple. Uh, six now, it looks like, for that. Ooh, this one's a little bit long, but it'll put us right around our three, 30 minute mark. So, Ooh, although before we do that, let me check something, guys. I need to check how many are left. Oh, yeah, we got plenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many did we do? Yeah, we did six. There's some of them were a little longer, but some of these will be long too. So, yeah, this will be fine. Sorry, I had to check that, guys. I was trying to keep the episode links correct. I didn't mean to pull away from Do A Dreamer's uh, message and shout out. Obviously, he does great stuff, and we watch through all of them so that people get that shout out in these videos as well, like they deserve. Like I said, the song really grew on me, you know? Alright, so we'll get two episodes of this, two episodes of this, and then we need to find a third series that we can, like, add into our stuff. Not sure what to do yet, but... Mmm. Is it Bulma? Alright, now give me the Chaos Emerald, and I won't hurt you. Oh! Here, take it and please, leave me alone. Perfect. With this, I have all the seven emeralds. Now I just have to bring them to Eggman. Chaos? <laughs> dare you? How dare you? M my! Yeah, he's using actual clips from Vegeta. I can't beat that. Let's get it on. It's also people mellow. I was also trying to do my shadow as like a darker version of my Sonic, which is like, hey guys, how are you? And then it's like, hey guys, how are you? I'm Shadow. Yeah. Interesting. Nice animation, honestly. I love the sound effects, I think, even more. You disappoint me. Come on. Oh, sh is a god. Oh, interesting. I I'm enjoying the uh, kind of differences. Oh, between the uh, quality of the effects versus their pixels, like. Oh. Hail the Prince of Alright, yeah, didn't look too hurt. Ooh. Fly! Ooh. Final Shine. Jeez, I haven't heard that one in a minute. Wasn't that from GT? No. What was that from? Oh. Super Shadow. What the? Looks like a sun. Ah, oh, no, the camera died. Of course, it died right at the end, man. It always does. I am the hype! He just, did they just use the DPC first one? I gotta listen to that again. Sorry, I had to re put on the. Alright, I knew that. We did, we did back to the final shine. But come on. Ah, camera's not fucking going. Come on. Takes forever. Alright, so we need to see this part. They did! They did use DBZ bridge lines. I thought they did. Nice. Cool, cool shit, Pico Mella. Cool shit. For real. Ooh! Oof. Ha, 
wasting my time. That can't be it. Yeah, he's got to go golden shadow. He has all the all the emeralds. So, oh, interesting. I keep saying that this episode. I don't know why. Damn! Stop time. It's like hit. Oh, kick move, bruh. Big move, bruh. Oh no, he's doing spirit vision. Oh no, he's gonna shoot the energy out of him. Damn it. Let's see, it should show him losing energy. Unless... Hitted! After being hitted. Sorry, I shouldn't. Hmm. Oh, is it made with physical? Thoughts and magic. Uh, okay. So it can't... Uh... You're talking bullshit! <laughs> Pretty much. It's called hacks. Ooh, ooh. Man, why they always gotta... Wait, why did he look like Sonic? Now he looks like Sonic! Chaos? Blast! Oh jeez, he broke the planet! Now that will do it. I've heard a lot about the high tier stuff that Sonic and Shadow can do if they're super chaos gold forms, whatever. And the ultimate forms, which is like silver, which is even beyond that. I haven't read enough for watching this, so I can't comment. What I will say is that was a fun animation. I really enjoyed it. I love the fact they used the DBZ abridged audio in it. You know what I mean? That's really awesome. To me, at least. Maybe not everybody, but I, I appreciated that. Uh, that said, uh, this is the last episode in our set, so I want to say, again, remember to support Do a Dreamer. He, you know, he deserves it. Obviously, you can see that he has support on Patreon, and he deserves that. So if you guys want to help support him on Patreon, check out his links, which you can find on his videos. We also list it in the description below. We try to put it on the, uh, bah, 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 bah. the bumpers on each end. Yeah, well, let's hear what he has to say. What are your thoughts on this animated battle, and do you agree or disagree with the result if this was a research battle? Feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Check out more of the animator's work. And always dream big. You heard him, guys. Always dream big. I mean, if Do A Dreamer is telling you to do it, you gotta listen. With that being said, this is uh, this is our first longer battle mode episode. And so I really hope you guys enjoy it. We'll be coming back uh, an with another one of these in probably about a week. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. I'm Axel Grave, and this has been Reactions with an X, Battle Mode, Do A Dreamer. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.